Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another stream. Remove this back cat box because I don't like it there. I hope everyone's doing good this evening. I am doing all right. I had a pretty productive day. I do have a bit of a headache, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I have to apologize for Saturday's stream, stopping it after an hour. Um, and I will explain here in a moment. It got really frustrating, and I have come to the conclusion that it was stupid of me. Uh, the reason I was frustrated was it didn't feel like I was progressing fast enough through the game. Um, this is only like the 14th stream, so that means maybe 30 hours of playtime. Um, I don't do a whole lot of playing when I'm not streaming, unless I'm doing building. And I was just like, I should be further along with this. This doesn't feel right, and I have to... I have two reasons to blame that. One, I've been really stressed out recently, so anything that doesn't feel quite right is gonna be exponentially worse. And two, I watch a lot of Let's Players on YouTube. And the difference between a Let's Player and a streamer is a Let's Player has a lot of time they are not on the recording. Whereas a streamer does everything on stream and I have to just realize that if I need to spend a half an hour chopping trees that's what I'm going to be doing um 
<laughs> for some reason I just had this feeling that I had to like have everything pre-prepared and that just felt like too much work and I wanted to have fun. The point of Minecraft and the point of this mod pack is to have fun and to think uh, differently, to, to work out ways to solve problems using magic instead of tech. But that means I need to solve problems in a vanilla way first while I'm developing the magic. Almost night. See the moon? There we go. So from here on out, I'm going to relax, chill, not stress out so much. Um, I have done a little bit of playing uh, between Saturday and now. I didn't do any building, really, but I did move all of the Thaumcraft stuff that I had in my house over here. So I can do the work over here. I placed the one node that we got as a quest reward near the beginning. Turns out to be a really nice one. So that will rock. Um... I started planning out where the infusion matrix is going to go and made the arcane stone blocks. This is going to be a pedestal. I haven't made the pedestals yet. I put the crucible in place with some nitor underneath of it. Here's my water supply so I could do some basic alchemy. And up here I placed the alchemical furnace. I just need to put the... Um, Called. What are they called, fellas? They look like vats, almost. Oh, whatever. The distillery things that go up here, you put up to five. And then I'm gonna have a bunch of tubes and jars snaking its way up the wall. That's what's going here. Oh yeah, I don't have anything up here yet, and I'm not quite sure what I'm putting up here. The floor is set so that nothing can spawn, so if you look, it's at the bottom half slab. I'd have to rearrange a little bit to figure out what's going up here, but nothing is up here right now. Perhaps I have room, I'm not quite sure. I have to raise the ceiling. Perhaps I'll have room for the Thomic Tinkerer, Osmotic Enchanting. And maybe infused seed farms. Who knows? Ore processing, because I don't like Aura Cascade. I'm only going to do as much as I absolutely have to Aura Cascade. Just, I just... I don't like it. <laughs> we'll have to look into it a bit more, but that's probably about it. So, I've also been down here in the Batania. Uh, we need to create... I did a couple stairways and put a ceiling in. We need to do another form of mana generation as well, because I don't believe charcoal until we can actually get a tree farm going, which is going to be a while now that we saw the roadblocks last time. Um, we need to get the mana production going. I made a jaded amaranthus right here. That'll make me some flowers. So yay, I'm going to have flowers. Uh, I just automatically fill the diluted mana pool with a tablet, which I in one of these chests. Um, I didn't know I had sparks. That's nice. Um, do I have wood? Let's make another chest. And way I can place these couple of flowers that I have. Let's here. There we go. Get those dropped off and drop that off. Um, down here, put another nicer stairway in. I've got a pure daisy. So it's not floating because I don't have the glowstone. But um, I've been slowly making a bit more living wood and living rock, especially to finish this place. I need to figure out what to do with this wall, which will actually be 
mana generation pockets, rooms for different mana generation exploration. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything downstairs. I don't even have a, I have a rudimentary stairway. So I haven't done anything down here. That's what I have so far. Like I said, I didn't do a whole lot. I do have a little bit of digging done in our slime farm area. I'm kind of concerned that it won't work very well because one, I'm so far away. Two, it's really, I'm really high up from it. So I'm not even sure it's within spawn range of slimes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to make this an AFK farm or if I can utilize the underground area for something else that would require me to be area. So as you can see, it is spawning slimes when I get within range. So, okay. I just, I dug out a couple of more rows here. I need to go around one more chunk because it needs to be three wide. Then I can start digging down. Um, I'd like to decorate the platforms. I don't really care about the walls and the ceiling so much, but I'd like to decorate the platforms really simply with a chisel. So I would need to change all of it out to stone, and then I would just chisel something in here. And I'll probably... I'm not sure I'll use pump, uh, torches, but I might use jack-o'-lantern. I'm not 100% sure, and since I haven't done a whole lot of work on this, that's okay. But I thought it might be something that I could um, put some kind of farm down here underground that I would need to go visit in order to activate the slime farm. Because this is too far away, I feel, for slimes to actually spawn down there right now. Utilize the farm. Um, that's just because we're up really high. And so using that as a mana source, probably not going to uh, Not a big deal. I need slimes anyway, I'm sure. So it's an occasional slime farm that works fine for me. I might not even need to make it more than one level. Depending on the amount of slime I'm really going to need. I don't believe it's a lot. Let's put these away. Uh... I haven't worked on the witchery stuff any further in order to create an altar. And I spent almost four hours on Sunday exploring, looking for a silverwood tree. Isn't this loading? Hello? Please climb indoors. Right now. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, so I went this way because I've never been this way before and I found I found mushroom islands. So I've got some mushrooms here, which is really cool, another runic dungeon. And then I just kept going straight till I hit land. And then I just followed the coast looking for silverwood trees. And let me tell you here, you can see I've followed the coast. Continued to follow the coast, found there was a witch's hut, there's a witch's circle. Uh is. Oh, that's Dryads, in case I need them for Ars Magica. I don't even think I went there. A Wisp Spawner. Um, just, I just traveled. The only goal I had was finding a Silverwood. Traveled through all this. Let me zoom out a bit more. Here's another Witch's Circle. Several runic uh, roguelike dungeons. Frost here, because this is just a little curve. Kept going, and finally, here's a nice big magical forest with silverwood. So I chopped down a couple of silverwood trees, got three saplings, and like a stack and a half of logs. I cut down the smallest of the trees. There's still some here. And then I tried to take a straight trek home, and I encountered a tiny one here with a couple of silverwood trees in it. So I like did a whole face palm thing. 
my way home because I've been here before. And then here's home. <laughs> so if I had gone this way, it would have been a lot shorter trip. But oh well, you know, happens. Nothing I can worry about. Turn myself with there. Oh well. But that is what I've been doing. And now, what shall we work on tonight? A lot of things we can do. Um, I want to keep working on getting the Batania established. So... Yeah. Uh, Managen is a possibility, but I don't have like a gunpowder farm. I don't have a lot of gunpowder. Um, so we can't really do tea. We could do food. I would like... at nighttime again already. I would like to get witchery going and get that quest done. I think... I really do think that I need altar power and I need those circles around the cauldron in order to make Nutandus Extremis. I think that is why it has failed me in the past. So we will be working towards that tonight, I think. Right. So, over here, we're going to need to chop some trees down because we need to get any clay, too. So, down, get some birch wood. We're gonna use the dig dug for a while because I don't have a lot of mana. Get it going. these to spawn just the saplings helpful I need to make some food farms other than the basic ones I have established over there would like to catch all of the animals running around and tunnel them For sapling chest. Sixteen birch, and I believe birch is what I need for the witchery altar. This one. I can oak. This one is oak. So I can grab oak. That all of the birch that are here. Sixteen birch. Okay. And we should go looking for some more clay. Now in Batania you can make a flower that produces clay out of sand. But I don't have an infant saliva sand right now either, and during my travels I did not find a desert. 
So I would need to make sand, and you can make sand in Batania using mana and cobblestone. Again, I don't have a lot of mana. So how to create some mana. Um, that ought to be good. That's pretty much all the birch leaves I have to possibly get. Yep. All right. Hello, Epic Face. So nice to see you. All right, we'll do the spruce. Spruce, oak, and birch. That's all I really have. I have, didn't pick up any jungle. I know where there's jungle trees, but I didn't pick any up. Um, the witch's furnace is up here. This oven is still in my house. Go around. Bombcraft factory here. And plenty of lighting error there on the faucet. make some more uh where are these the filters funnels the funnels all right so we have exhale the horned one here so we really just need to get the birch wood going got nine so do i have charcoal shoved in here let's get that going Let's not see what I need for fun. <clears throat> A lot of buckets. Oh, I need glowstone. I need to go to the nether. Lots of iron. So I need to go mining. And I need to go to the nether. Yay, there's one. Need one more. Okay. Rolling wood. Where did I put it? I know I chopped some down. There it is. Okay, so we have rowan wood. Let's go back to looking at the altar recipe. Stone bricks, water bottles. Alas, my. Okay. Last smelting the bottles. Once I have the bottles, I need to go fill them with water because I do not have a water source house. Go. Fill these up inside. If I can make a recipe. Oh, it doesn't. I don't populate because of water bottles. There's one. Get more. Second one made. And now we have a witch's altar. 
which will be extremely helpful now for okay so it's out of charcoal out of clay pots space here got time to do witches a witchery area all i have are the circles planned Where the circles are going. But there's the altar. Let's put a torch on it. Yeah, I hear you. Bob Goblin around somewhere. Oh, there he is. Alright, so this is probably not very powerful because there's not a lot of um, of life around this area and that's that's okay for now I will change that up but I'm hoping that I can move the cauldron over here somewhere where could I put that be nice to put that right here dirt kind of fill this out just a little bit and see if I can't make that mutandus near the altar um, hopefully it doesn't need circles around it. Water too. So let's grab some of the things I need. Get two buckets. A flint that's in the room. Flint. I have sleep. So if I do put source in also help with the ultra power a little bit because there's water. And if we put here the cauldron on top I can't get it up first now, the recipe for cauldron recipes are in a specific order. This one, Mutandus Extremis, that we're trying to do for a quest, is Netherwart and Mutandus. Now, before I've done this, and it hasn't worked, but it's not been near an altar. So I'm hoping an altar is what it needs. Oh, it's doing something. We did an altar power. Yay! Waffle inclined. It's got side effect. 
Like, I don't know if this is real. Are these real? No. Okay. That scared me, though. <laughs> so, the, um, circles that I can put around this can reduce the, um, side effects. So if I do- is this cobblestone? It is. So if I chiseled some more cobblestone... I need to look at the... Pretty sure it goes one out. Like... There. There. Totally gonna have to look it up. These glyphs. So I need to get the book. But yay, I have a, have mutanus extremis, which completes a quest. Quest line. Oh, that's nice to know. I okay. Crafting. Oh, that one is right, and there's one a bigger one around it. Um, white, red. All right. Well, challenge with that is that I need I do need to make ritual chalk. And I think it's a cauldron recipe. Gypsum. Oh, Tear of the Goddess needs a distillery. That needs an altar. So we do need some clay jars. Uh, is this my victory? No, it is. Drop some of this stuff off here for now. Yeah. I wonder if I can make. Oh, I need a puffer fish and a salmon? Great. Have that. Some fishing. That way I could go underneath the water to collect clay. Um, we're, we've got a lot of swamp land around us. Let's just wander the swamp land. For some clay so I can make some more clay jars. Start over here, which I think I've covered this area already, but we'll start here. Looking for clay. That's right here, we don't have to go very far.
to get paid for a little while. That was relatively painless. We got a bunch of clay now. Let's go make some clay jars. And you on a clay through. and stuff. Stack. The rest of it, I will find some place it. It works. Yes. Tombstone that requires uh, magic diamond lava. Well, we could work on improving the witchery altar power. some of these and I think I have Rowan some bone meal okay I'm night time again and get some more saplings. So let's snooze. Whoops. I really want every sapling I can possibly get out of these because we're going to need to be able to cook these down in the witch's oven as well. Place me. It is pretty in its texture pack. Which again, if you don't know, this is the John Smith Technicians remix, the modded version of the John Smith texture pack. And I thought I'm using it because I thought it would work well with the theme of builds that we're doing here.
Okay, just a second. I am going to bring up something I have stored on Drive, which is kind of a spreadsheet for maximizing Witchery Altar Power, and you can Google it to find it. It's not hard to find at all. Um, but it will help me decide exactly how many how many of each organic item will improve my witchery altar and I see it hmm see it. So where did I see it? I guess I bookmarked it and didn't actually um, save it uh, in my own drive. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so let's pick up what we can. I'm going to try to tell you what I do each time I place something. I'm going, to, I'm going off of a chart that is a year old, so it may not be 100% accurate, but it's close enough. I used it for my regrowth Let's Play, and it, it did help decently enough that I'm not too worried about being slightly inaccurate. But let's head over to the Witchery Circles. And let's look for see if I can find things about how large of an area where the altar is a focal point, how large of an area build in. Doesn't quite say age. Here we go. Relatively up to date, it looks like. It says scans an environment in a 15 block radius and searches for life to draw power from. So, yeah, there we go. Power that I can get from this. Okay, we're going to first do Rowan Trees. Let's see if I can find that on my chart. Go down here. The altar, this is going to look in a 15 radius up, down, and every direction around it. Which is cool. So, let's look at my chart. Witchery Woods. Um, it gives it a plus 3 power for a maximum of 100 blocks. And that's the wood. Um, the leaves doesn't say exactly. Um, but I know they count. So we're going to place we do a maximum of 300 blocks of elder of these in a decent space. This bar is that. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. This will be a relatively the same distance. 
probably will never do more than a 2x2. Two two. Okay, now we'll do these in a similar fashion. Um, you can use regular uh, vanilla woods, and I, I'm sure I will, but I really like the look of the witchery woods. Let's see, um, because yeah, Minecraft Woods is a power of two for max of 50 blocks. So I could plant some more oak. I not do alder? I didn't do alder. What? Alder. Some of these might not grow. I might have to fiddle with where they're located. It's okay. Can't plant anything inside the area. And some of this stuff I'm going to actually put underneath the altar and the circles. But trees, trees are nice. Make a nice forest. That's going to be good for now. Let's get these growing. I only have eight bone meal on. So... There. Bro. Alright, just with these couple of trees that have grown, I'm already at 1,035 altar power. Um... I do need to get some of the rest of these trees growing. Go grab those pumpkins. Those would be nice to place. Um, I wonder if jack lanterns count. Go grab I know the pumpkins themselves count. And this is something that you can put underneath. is place a pumpkin. Yep, that boosts it, but it does a jackalant. What is it right now? 57. Jack-o'-lanterns do not count. Okay. No. We'll be putting the, the pumpkins underground. I'm not going to be putting them here. Let's go sleep. Um, instead of the Google document that I mentioned, you can go to ftbwiki.org and look up the altar page. It has a lovely list of everything that counts for altar power. So welcome to do use that um, Arthana might be nice. it has a range boost of two so instead of only 15 it'll reach 30 blocks in each direction that would be nice how do you make an Arthana? Gold emerald sticks. Let's make one. Put that on the altar and it will increase the range in which the altar searches for valid power items. Oh, 
I have a couple of glowstone. <laughs> but we'll need to make one to actually use. But not right now. There's an Arthana. Pumpkin, this jack o' lantern. Place it out. Oh. I'm gonna shoot this, obviously. Let's light up this area. The jack o' lantern. All right, if we put the Sarthana down on the altar, it will increase the grain. I should have grabbed some more. Better yet, I can go down in there. Oh, another. To where we have our Skelly spawner. Sarthana. This should look a little further, it does. Still don't have a whole lot of things out there right now, but, um, it will slowly improve. This will get more dense. Very nice. I like a dense, foresty look for the witch stuff. So let's go get some more bones. Um, flowers count. Let's see you. Flowers count. Water counts. Drops count. Mushrooms count. I mean, there's a lot of things that count. That would just be collecting from around the island. And placing in the area. Start with bone meal. Grass counts even, I think. Let's head to have um little skelly spawner that I created in this roguelike dungeon. It is not fancy by any means. But I was using it for early XP in order to enchant items for bones in here. There's been an Enderman down here. The only way a grass plot got down here now, I don't have silk touch. Okay. Let's paste in my I don't know if the blue orchids count, but I do know dandelions and a bit of the mushroom. Not sure about these flowers. No. Or scan that note. I don't know. Grab a couple of the mushrooms that are here. Not all of them, so that they can grow. No vines can. Those. Fit. Head up here, we'll bone meal these trees. I don't like scanning this note. Let's get this stuff 
placed. I am not very specific about it because every single inch I'd like covered in something. Let's get each of these trees grown. Come from it. Oof. And that one. The big one. Right. And dense. This is gonna need a couple of torches. Let's turn F7 on. C. It's going to slide this tree. A. Very good. <clears throat> I think I have way too many logs now. Let me look at this again. Which rewards maximum 100 logs. What happens if I chop down? Other than possibly getting an int. Didn't get an int. Yay. Being a block. I can't use that. Um out of that block. Try this again. Ah, there we go. Okay. If it's at the leave, this Saplings are supposed to count, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Thirteen oh one. Some.
1323. Good. All right. Other things that I can do in the area include spam bone mealing. This count. Where? Huh. Foresty. Good. All right, let's see what I got for point. Thirteen ninety five. Bad. Not perfect, but not bad either. So, that's a good start. I am going to dig underneath my altar. A room that is 30... More than one floor. And have, like, mushrooms and pumpkins and melons. And we're just going to try to max out the stuff that doesn't need a lot of space. I need space in my inventory before I can... That. And then I'm going to have to figure out some kind of witch's shack of some sort for all of my witch's stuff. Got that, see what gets the stuff here. All right, folks, it's time for my eight o'clock break. I go, I take about five minute break, stretch my legs, feed the kitty cats. I will be back shortly. Don't go anywhere.
All right, I am back. Let's get back to working on we can do the witch reactor. And space in my inventory. I totally go for more space. Put those in there. Put the quest. Oh, let's complete that quest we had just done for the Mutandus Extremis. Oh, wait, it's in Thalmcraft? What did I finish in Thalmcraft? Oh, I got the. And the silverwood sapling, so I get two more. Fantastic! Put that in here for now. I'm guessing this one wanted something else then. Oh, I need to make a fitting sprig. Um. How do I do that? I believe it's like a recipe in any eye. I think I have to look it up in a book. Oh, it's a cauldron recipe. Nether wart, an ent twig. I have to spawn an ent first. We'll wait until I actually do spawn an ent. Until then, up here. And we'll keep, we'll dig the room out that we need for more witch read stuff. Any wood with me. Silly was that. Okay. Of one nearby. First. Make a couple ladders. I think too high will be plenty. Look, there's water down here. I wonder if this is counting. Good, let me look. Water. 50 blocks count. All right, we're going to start here, and 89, we'll do 415. There we go. Okay. 
This way. saying I might break through the mountain so I won't want to do that this little bit first get it cleared out Because the blocks are nice. I keep the torch tight in here. into that isn't it. Still here. That's annoying. There. Spot. See, if water is 50 blocks, we're going to count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Make it a perfect square. Here on me. In the Go on. 26. 30. Let's just say this is all going to be Right. What'll be useful with this is when I plant crops down here, whatnot. We're gonna start with just you know, go for farmland. It can do a hundred blocks of farmland. Now you only get one point per. 
and I believe planting crops on top of farmland will give you that bonus, the farmland bonus, excuse me, plus the crops bonus. But I'm not 100% sure. So yeah. But far I go there, I have a whole lot of torches. Is for the oh crap right here. around it. Killing these torches, grr. for a start. be night time. You can see all of the stuff upstairs. Yeah.
for the mana. Fill up my like water in this row bucket water because that's in it. Then down on each side. Be a walking path. If I can get around here. I mean I can go that way another bunch. But uh, yeah. Daytime. Alright, we we'll go all the way to there. I'm not quite sure anything will grow um, there. Because of the. So let's see. Feet drop. I can do 20. Let's go get 20 seeds. Here. Out of the way. The crop planting first. Um, do I have any vanilla wood in here? here. Make, get some coal. Have a hole. See. See what I got up here. Finished product. So that is still a chest down here. Let's put the charcoal first in the I guess I should grab some to make uh, torches too. <laughs> seeds, okay. Got 20 seeds. Same for carrots and potatoes, melon and pumpkin. And pumpkin. There's five melon. And potatoes and carrots are up. here some first I have melon there
that to start. Get this stuff planted. Some more mana for equipment. That's what I've got. down here plant Um, or Go. And pump the melons. Sugar cane. Each one of these will grow too tall. That'll work there.
make the pump patch here. And I know that that is figure out better if I did. Obviously, so a block here. Ah, who knows? Okay, so then I'm gonna do. Oh, I sense a crashing. That and the thing. So then... Let's do at the moment.
Crops will continue to grow. They've grown a bit. I'd like to get to 2,000. We need more sugar cane to do that. Pumpkins need to grow. Eight of each and do twenty. and mushroom box which means I can do the small mushrooms and I can do the full size mushrooms what else is in the dirt saplings vanilla and witchery saplings 20 of each type most vanilla flowers except Dandelions. So I need to take all the dandelions out and replace them. <laughs> As I can see here. Dandelions don't count. Uh, I can have up to 20 of each of the witchery plants. good um I will just let this stuff grow a lot of badness on any map so head out there anyway So close. Bed. Daytime. Oh. Uh oh, there's something here too.
I have to 30. Five. 20. Twenty-nine. Does Azure Bluet count? Yes, it is. Okay. Azure Bluet counts. Grab one of those. Good deal. Um, the mushroom. Grab one of each for now, so that I can just pick it and let it spread. Um, the, the cactus I need to throw some of. So let's put that down. Some sand going. Go we'll place these flowers. up all these dandelions and I'm pretty sure the Ars Magica flowers don't count either but That's all of the good. We got those planted. They'll spread, and I'll just move in some more of those. All right. Last time we looked at this, it was at eighteen oh three. Look at now, eighteen sixty five. Deal. Oh, right now it says dandelions are separate. I can have 30 dandelions. Sorry, I'm looking at this chart again and I'm like, what? Yeah, okay. Dandelions there. Almost to 2,000, which is what my goal is for tonight. Let's see here. Let's relocate a couple of witchery plants. Have growing in our little farm. Here. work on down some trees and turn it into charcoal. Right. Now, from what I see here, Wolfsbane does not count. But Snowbell, Belladonna, Mandrake, and Water Artichoke do? Yep. So... We're going to keep some down here. Okay. 
garlic doesn't count. Belladonna, so we'll place two. those. I think I got all of them. A bell water chip. I do need to grab have it in this chest that eat ember moss. Other stuff I got from and this need Spanish moss. Get anything else. Other stuff here. Okay, so I do need to do more sizing. <laughs> glintweed spreads, so I have no issue with placing glintweed. And you don't catch fire. Ember moss, you do, so I'm gonna put that underground. I don't have to run into it. Moss upstairs. Let me eat upstairs. Okay. Put Spanish moss and salt. Put on the out. For now, and let it grow. This one glint we put somewhere so that it spreads a lot. Oh, that way I can collect a bunch of it. Those so that the must grow. 1964. We're oh so close. Um, it will get better once I have more witchery plants down there, since we can do them eat. I'm good. I think that's going to be going to probably close enough for the... I think I'm too far away for me to sleep. Yep. So I think we did pretty good at starting to maximize our witchery altar. And the witchery stuff. It's 
upstairs in the west for now. Oh, there's another glint. Ooh, ember moss. Okay, so we have stuff we can place down there. I need to make space for that yet. That. I'll leave those things in here. And I already have a distillery. I don't have to make one. Look at that. I already have an altar, too. This will be nice for traveling. We'll need to make a traveling altar setup. Already have an Arthana. That's helpful. I didn't notice this before. Distillery. We definitely go put over there. Alter power to run the distillery. I doubt really need more than one of these to get started. Let's put the distillery so the cauldron is there. Mm -hmm. Let's flatten this area out a little bit. Put it back here. Put it at an angle. That will fit in right here. Work. 73. Yep, I'm very happy. Um, I think as the crops grow up, It'll start getting... Some of these are now almost all grown. We have some trigger cane. Let's pop some of this down. Place it. That. These are starting to grow. So then we'll have melon pumpkins instead of just seeds. Will be soon. Ah, I'm gonna break you. Hopefully, you'll spread further. Uh, go further this way. I can put plants here. That's what I'm. I'll be able to get more of these crops that I need spread further. Maxed out with shit. Mm 
I believe we're max. We've got vanilla. We have enough vanilla. There we go. That's full grown. Um, we have enough vanilla crops. And now we're just working on maxing. Well, except for the potatoes. The pumpkins. And 20 of all of these. Be able to spread over here. These actually produce pumpkins and melons. We'll spread those probably this way. And we'll stick probably the ember moss over there in that corner so that I can itself. Good start there. So close. Uh, the two thousand type. Probably do a couple more sugar cane. This fifty total blocks, and if I have twenty placed, I would need to place twenty five. Dirt on me. I have to place 25 in order to have 50 really grown down there. Yeah. That's good. So nice. So very nice. Good, good, good. All right, so we've made it. Uh, we'll be at two thousand once that stuff finishes growing. Um, made it to two thousand altar power. We got our mutanus extremis made. I showed you the that I moved all the farm craft stuff. We need to work on some more Batania. Um, I could totally work on getting some more of this going. Uh, maybe make another 10 and work my way down a little bit further. But we need another source of mana generation. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. We'll have to look into that. Maybe just like a potato or chicken or Morales or something. I don't know at the moment. But... That's it for me this evening. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I will be back here tomorrow playing some vanilla 1.9 on the Breakfast Craft Vanilla server. So I will see you then. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye.